okay so welcome back to this channel so in our previous videos we have handled the product resource uh, we are able to create a new product from here from the admin panel and also we can view uh, upload images added and delete the product and on this video we will handle this orders part we will display all the orders okay and then also we have to display the order details so let's first of all get all the orders and display that in the uh, admin panel so what i do is i simply go back to my vs code and i go to the app and in the admin i have here i have to create a new folder here that is called orders okay so our route is going to be slash admin slash orders in that i create my file that is called page.gsx so to save some time i go to slash me and then here in the orders i can simply use that so i copy it from here and i paste that here so first of all that is um admin orders page okay and now here i have to get the orders and this time that is going to be slash api slash orders and then slash the search query and we have used the uh, query string as a package okay and then we have to simply return the data from here and then we will simply um, create our component here and pass the data in there okay so i simply save that from here and let me verify that if we have this route on the back end or not so i go to my pages uh, here in the orders um, i think so we have to create one i will simply um, go in the admin okay create a new folder here that is called orders and let i create my file that is called index.js so let's so slash api slash admin slash orders and in that we will get all the orders so i will simply copy this from here and i put that here okay so this is is authenticated user and user must be admin and this is a get route and actually for the controllers i go to the controllers in the order controllers we have here uh, my orders that will get the current user orders so what i will do here is i will simply copy that from here and i put that here and that is going to be uh, get orders in that we have our res per page orders count and then we have to implement the pagination okay and then in the find we have to pass here nothing we want to get all the orders we will expand the shipping info and then the user details and pass it result like this save it and now i simply go back and add that here that is going to be get orders okay so now we have this as a backend route so that is going to be slash api slash admin slash orders simply save it and now we will pass the orders in our component and to create the component i will simply go to the components in the admin and i go back to my chrome and here i have my component components i go to the admin now in the admin i have here orders.gsx okay just a simple table to display all the products so i copy that from here go back and i create a file that is called orders.gsx so orders.gsx and i put that here so first of all we need to uh, import the link and before that we have to um i think so remove this part from here okay and i also remove this from here save it and now we also have to import the link from next slash link and that is href okay so let me if i go back to my chrome and if i click here all orders so uh, request fail with status code 404 okay so i go to the admin orders page slash api slash admin slash orders um if you go to here in the pages admin orders we have this file that is um get orders and we have to remove this slash from here and also we have to put in here question mark if i simply save it and now if i go back so you can see that here we get here your orders and this is the details of all the orders um so now we have to simply get all the orders and display that uh, display here one by one so I simply go back okay and i close this one also and first of all i will get here my orders 
okay and here i will display that uh, orders dot orders count and then i have to loop through on all data and display one by one here so i will use the loop in the t body so that is going to be orders dot orders dot map for each order i have to display a row and that is orders okay so i will move this entire tr inside here and i display here order dot id underscore id simply save it and now if i go back uh, and also i have to actually go here in the here and change the component to orders like this save it and i remove this from here and now if i go back now that is going to be orders count so i change that to orders oops okay so um that is dot orders count okay so we have four orders in the database so we will display that here now let's display the other details so i go back and after the id we have to display in here the order dot payment info dot amount paid and here i will display here order dot order status save it and now if i go back you can see that here we get here the order id and then the amount paid and then the processing okay and also actually we have to remove this main from here we don't need that okay so i remove that from here save it and now if i go back now you can see that it is taking all the space so now i'm successfully displaying the order list here and now let's display the pagination and for that i simply go back and i can go in the um orders uh, list orders i can copy that from here this custom pagination so i go back and i put that um after the table okay and i give here margin bottom of six and put that here save it and now we have to import the custom pagination save it now if i go back so now we get here the pagination if i click on page number two now we are on page number two so pagination is also implemented here now let's um, display the order details so if i click on this icon button i have to display the order details and also i can update the order status from there okay so let's display the order details so i go back and i close this from here this one this one and first of all let's go back to the back end in the controllers in the order controllers so i will simply copy that from here and that is going to be get order okay i remove this from here so i need here um order so await order dot find by id and in the id i will simply pass in here request dot query dot id and we will populate the shipping info and the user as well okay so after that we have to check also check that if not order then we will simply return next with new error handler and i pass in here no order found with this id okay and i pass in here 404 as the status code simply save it and on the response i only have to pass in here the order so i remove that from here and pass only order here so now if i go back in the pages um i go to the admin in the orders i create a new file here with the dynamic id dot js okay so i will simply copy this from here and i put that here so for this i will use here get and this is going to be get order okay and that is it simply save it now our backend route is added now we now we just have to display that on the front end so i go back to the app in the admin in the orders create a new folder here that is called um id okay in that i create my file that is called page.jsx so i will simply copy this from here and i put that here so that is going to be admin update or i can say that 
admin order details page okay save it and now we have to get here the order so i will pass in here the id okay so that is going to be and i also don't need here this one okay so that is going to be slash api slash admin slash orders and then slash the id and that is going to be the id we will pass in here the cookie and return the data and we will get from here the params and pass in here the params dot id okay and that is the get order and now we have to pass in here in in the order i pass in here the data dot order okay simply save it now we have to create our component so i go back and i go back in the admin and here i have the update order dot gsx okay so i will simply copy that from here go back and that is going to be um update order dot gsx and i put that here simply save it we don't need here sidebar so i will remove that and also i will remove that from here save it okay so now if i go back and if i click on this pencil icon um we have to go to the admin orders and the id okay so i will simply go here in the components admin orders and here we have to pass in here um order dot underscore id save it so now if i go back reload this page and click this pencil icon so now this data is not defined and that is going to be data okay so we get here um uh we have to also add here update order okay save it and now you can see that here this is the order details where we will display all the order detail and and after that we have an option to update the uh, order status so let's display all the details here so we close this from here and also close this from here and actually to save some time i will um go in the components in the um, orders in the order item i think so so what i will do here is i will simply first of all remove this line from here and i copy this header and i will copy all that from here copy that save it and now if i go back and i will um copy and paste till this div before hr and i paste that okay and i first of all get here my order save it and now if i go back so image is not defined we have to import the image and from next slash image save it and now you can see that here we get all the details of that uh, basically uh, order if i go to the all orders and if i select this one and here you can see that i have three different products so now we are successfully displaying all the details of the product now we just have to handle this update part and also the delete order so i will handle that in my next video if you have any question you can post that in the comment section i will try my best to respond there and also you can get the source code from the description of this video so in my next video i will complete this order part and handle this update and delete part of the order resource and after that we will move toward our all users and then we will hand have to handle this uh, review uh, review, review part of the customer and then after that we will de deploy it to the virtual so if you have, so if you have any question you can post that in the comment section i will try my best to respond there so that's it for this video i will see you in the next lecture